the very first time I showed up, the cast didn't know what I was going to do, uh, and you know, I ended up calling Cisco Crisco and Doctor Snow Snow, and um, that was a whole different element, which they welcomed Shut and up. then and then built. <laughs> hey, oh, um, ah, shoot, uh, this is. Don't tell me. Um, ah, gosh darn it! No, I know it. I know it. Tammy, come on. This is um, guys. This is uh. Garvin. Garvin. <laughs> Garvin Cranston. Cranston. Thank you, sir. Brian Thank Cranston. you for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian this Cranston. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're cute. You're cute. Yes. Uh, Goodbye. New table, table for you. New table for you. Are you? No. <laughs> what, what is this? No. Awesome. Hey, Grant, this is, this is not exactly a flash question, but yeah. I want to start with it. Cool. Uh, given the fact that you are such a Superman fan, yeah. uh, your feelings about Superman becoming a part of this universe, I guess you had it I'm really excited. Um, really, really excited. But I have disappointing news, too, that... They haven't told me, I, they haven't said if I'm allowed to say this or not, but it's not, it's kind of a reverse scoop, so we're not going to get to be on camera together. I know that much. Superman and Flash won't, like, I won't be in a scene with him. Not but, the course of it? Apparently, well, I don't know, but we're, it, early, in the early part of the season, his first, like, few episodes that he's doing, uh, I won't be in a scene with him, because they're going to be establishing a Supergirl-Superman yeah. relationship, and, but I'm just excited that he's on You'll the show. hanging around the set? Yeah, I met, I met Tyler yesterday, actually, and he's the nice, he's a really nice guy. Um, he's Perfect for Superman. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Barry's decision? Uh, yeah. Changing the time. Yeah. Um, pretty selfish decision. Um, for obviously, I think he's a little blind to that when he makes it. I think the reason he makes it is he's sitting on that porch. They've just defeated Zoom. Everything is essentially how it should be. And then Iris says to Barry like what he's always wanted to hear, and he still feels empty. Uh, and I think that's that it, it's not until that exact moment that he decides I, I need to change this I need to this isn't how things should be um, and he's when we when we see him in flashpoint some time has passed he's been in this timeline for a while now um, and he's loving it and you know he's he's kind of taking a back seat there's another speedster kid flash who is the flash in this timeline and uh, Barry's okay with that and he kind of like takes the year off um, and is a, just has absolute gratitude for the fact that both of his parents are alive and well in front of him because he knows still what the other timeline was um, so he's just kind of enjoying this new life that he has so, so after all the build up you walk away from Iris yeah. um, do you think Barry um, since the guy who plays Cisco said that he hopes in season in the next season yeah. you don't make impulse decisions um, do, you see, do you see the fact Character. Yeah, oh, he is. Yeah, he, he Barry wear, obviously wears his heart on his sleeve and is stubborn and is impulsive. Um, yeah, he's not a, by any means a perfect character. Um, he's a likable person, but all those things are true about him. He's impulsive and stubborn. In this season, Kevin Smith directed an episode. Are there any other like geek directors you would love to direct an episode of that? Yeah, actually, I met uh, Joss Whedon last night. Um, yeah, and that'd be really cool. Yeah, he was a really nice guy, and he loves the show. He's seen every episode of the show. Yeah. What you Sorry. What you were saying before about Barry with being impulsive yeah. and that sort of thing. This is the one thing I scream at the TV, and like my wife looks at me like I'm insane. Why are you yelling at a television? Yeah. It seems like every time. I love that, by the way. <laughs> every time they tell Barry not to do something, yeah. he insists on doing it, and it goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? Um. <laughs> I, you're, you're right to a certain degree, but I think also, you know, he does like, he t he, he listens to Team Flash. There's been like, this, they're, they're, he'd be dead right now if it wasn't for Team Flash, so I think he knows that. Um, but yeah, I think when it's come to some big decisions, he's been pretty stubborn. And I, But I think he has learned a lot of stuff along the way, and, and he will definitely learn a lot from this decision that he's made. Um, he'll actually get some time travel advice from uh, and messing with the timeline advice from another speedster. Uh, I'll let you kind of uh, guess who that is. Um, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna learn plenty moving forward this year. He's still so maturing. Effect, I mean, because everything's changed on this show. Yeah. What's the ripple effect? The other, other shows show? are being affected. I, I only know what the change uh, no. is on um, Arrow, but uh, like I know exactly. What, I, I won't. I can't say. But um, I don't know how the other shows are being affected. But apparently, every show is slightly affected. But. 
you were talking, I was wondering. Sorry, I've got to grab Grant now. Wait, you must have Ah, my question is, how we, how we do cultural info over the next TV? I mean, you talk about trans flag events. You can explain a little more about that. Just how it'll evolve from Flashpoint? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know exactly how the whole season is, what, what, how Barry will evolve this season, but um, flat, what, what happens in Flashpoint, what he sees in Flashpoint, what his whole family perspective is in Flashpoint will influence the art for the rest of the season. For sure.